This is Dr. Jerry Hesch, physical therapist at the Hesch Institute in Aurora, Colorado. And this is my neighbor who recently had a course of physical therapy and discontinued because it was, uh, in his words, very, very simple and he's very active and already doing a lot of strengthening. So I'm going to let him give us a brief uh, summary of his initial knee injury and, and the history, and then I will demonstrate my findings. I injured my knee uh, back in December of 2009 doing uh, squatting exercises and I felt some type of uh, popping sensation in the left knee as I was coming up and the condition has really been bothering me ever since. It's more of a nagging injury, not, not more so of a pain uh, that's just not improved over time. I decided to see physical therapy over this past year to try to to uh, mitigate the nagging, but the uh, exercises that were they had me doing were not improving it, so I decided to try this method instead. Did you have a prior course of therapy or any prior treatments, consults? I had saw a consult in uh, April of 2011 and uh, was informed that they told me I had patellofemoral syndrome and was basically just told to Google certain stretching exercises to help uh, with the repositioning of the kneecap and strengthening of the leg, all of which I did try, but uh, none of it really seemed to improve the, the knee. And what kind of a physician did you see? Uh, it was a, uh, I believe it was a family doctor. It was through the military, actually. Okay. And uh, it was a family doctor in the military. And then the physician you saw recently is? The physician I saw recently was actually a, a, a PA, and uh, they referred me to a local physical therapy a clinic here in downtown Aurora. Very good. I've been seeing for the past <clears throat> month. So no other specialists that you've seen? No, this is... That's All right. It. So how does this limit you? Is there some specific activity you can do to replicate the pain? Um, I can go down and do deep squats. Even like one-legged squats would replicate the pain. Um, but the squatting exercises is where the pain is is the most prominent. Uh, one other thing I, I guess I should mention is that about two years ago I was running a lot and then I started, I was diagnosed later with plantar fasciitis in my left foot which I thought may have been a contributor from the knee pain as well since I think I seem to walk a little bit differently uh, due to the nagging injury from the knee and I think that may have had a result in uh, different uh, stress on the foot which may have caused some of the uh, plantar fasciitis pain as well. So, um, if you were to do a deep squat right now, how many would you be able to do before you before you felt the pain? Uh, I could probably do. It would only take a few actually before I would feel the pain. Okay. So but I would actually be able to continue going because it, it's not that severe. Okay. So could you stop. go ahead and do a few squats right now? Sure. Right here? Yeah, go ahead. And just tell me when you first perceive I, it. I actually felt it as I was coming up. Okay, so that's enough. Yep. So within one squat you within felt it. Within one squat I did feel some Very type good. of, uh, I guess you'd say pain. More of a nagging okay. type thing than anything, but it, the pain level was very low. But again, Alrighty. it was just very kind of a, annoying more so than anything. So go ahead and lay down, and then if you could uh, pinpoint where that pain is. The pain is right in here. Okay. Very good. And I'm the camera operator, so I'm struggling here because we lost a part of the tripod, bought another tripod. It was not as good as it sounded. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I looked at your knee a couple of weeks back. Right. And I went ahead and referred you for physical for formal physical therapy. Mm -hmm. And because that didn't work, then I'm, you know, happy to treat based on what I find. And so I'm going to do uh, some testing on this patella and it's quite <coughs> rigid. It doesn't have much lateral or medial mobility, very little inferior, and if I try and pull it up, 
um, very little there as well. If I do a squeeze test in which it should bob f upward anteriorly, like towards the ceiling, I, I can't get underneath it. If we compare that to the other side, mm, a lot more freedom with this patella, medial and lateral, inferior. Can't say that I feel it moving up. And if I squeeze it, the slightest amount of lift. Do you feel a little bit of lift in that? I feel more in this knee than I did in the left one. Okay. Well, when I found the other, the um, few weeks back when I looked at you, was that there was a lack of posterior glide mobility of the uh, of the left femur. So I'm going to retest that today, and I can take up some slack. But after that, if I impart a reasonable amount of force, there's no give there. If I do the same test on the right knee, you can see that I take up the slack and there's a greater excursion of the leg. But then I can, I can impart force transmission readily through that structure. And do you recall if we found a reduction of uh, mobility when you were on your stomach? I believe we did. Okay, so I'm just testing um, hyperextension of this knee by lifting up the foot and there's about five degrees there. And I'm doing the same thing on the, on the, uh, on the other leg. I can't really discern a difference with that test. I don't know if it feels any different to you. Almost feels like you have a little bit more here. Yeah, you feel that? It does feel like there's more. With the legs. Okay, and that is a typical finding: is that when we lift the lower leg up uh, in this presentation, there usually is a little more extension available. For the simple fact, I would submit that this femur is stuck in posterior glide, which is an enhancement of extension. It goes there because it can. Mm -hmm. So let's have you line your stomach, and I'll stop filming in about uh, 20 seconds. I hope. And so in the uninvolved leg, I'm measuring knee flexion. And in the involved leg, if I had two hands and I wasn't filming, then I could test it with more precision, but I can't really, de de I, I can't really detect a difference. In terms of strength, I mean, this is a very athletic body and I couldn't, uh, you know, break any of the major muscles uh, of the knee, front and back, uh, lateral, hip abductor was very strong. So I'm going to stop filming here and then I'm going to treat it and we'll come back and evaluate response to treatment. Thank you.